Let's start this video by saying it's not like WWE is in any sort of trouble. They made $265.6 million in the second quarter of 2021. They are printing money these days. However, after a lackluster and puzzling SummerSlam 2001, tough beat for Bianca Belair, man, WWE is ice cold creatively. The big story in pro wrestling right now is CM Punk, who triumphantly joined AEW in front of a sold-out United Center crowd in Chicago on August 20th, 2021. Punk's return was an increasingly rare moment of genuine emotion in pro wrestling, a feel-good moment. Grown adult humans were openly weeping with happiness. Seriously. Meanwhile, in Stamford, Connecticut, the WWE is, as Jim Ross would say, colder than a mother-in-law's kiss. Again, we mean creatively. They are red hot in the pocketbook. So perhaps it's for the best then that WWE 2K22 will be delayed. Never mind the fact that if you played 2K20, you know that developers basically had to tear that game down from scratch and rebuild the foundation. Anyway, 2K22 has released a new trailer, and there are actually some pretty interesting things to take away from it. Not the least of which being the new release window. So let's not hot dog or grandstand any longer, let's get right into it. We're Operation Sports, I'm Matt Ederer, and here are five thoughts about the new WWE 2K22 trailer. As always, we're ranking these from least important to most important, starting with number five. Some of the hair and faces are a little weird. It's a minor complaint. I'm personally not much of a graphics guy. I didn't even really notice this until it was pointed out to me, but it's the kind of thing that once you do see it, you can't really unsee it. The hair in this game looks like it could be a little wonky. I can't imagine it'll be as bad as 2K20, where hair was glitching and shooting everywhere as though you were hit by lightning as you came through the curtain. While we're picking nits, some of the faces, they bug me a little more than the hair to be honest. There's a certain level of uh, derpiness to the warriors of the squared circle here that, uh, well it actually might be there in some form and some of them in real life. Let's maybe just put this complaint on hold. We are still extremely early in the developmental process of this game I guess. I wouldn't pass much judgment on the look of this game based on this one teaser trailer, but Having said that, if the models here didn't exactly blow your socks off, I can't argue that. Number 4. For the most part, honestly, the game looks pretty good. A lot of these models actually look impressive. Bailey, Ricochet, oh, Roman Reigns specifically look awesome. Now, your mileage may vary on how this trailer looks overall. I think we can all agree though that graphics, as much as they matter, they aren't the biggest factor this year. We all want a game that looks better than the games used to look on PS2, of course. Uh, by the way, SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, it's just beautiful for its time period. If we get a game that even looks that exciting, that visually appealing, then sign me up. What's most important here is that 2K puts the time in to create a good video game. To that point... Number 3. WWE 2K22 will release in March 2022, right around WrestleMania season. WWE 2K games have traditionally come out in October. This one is officially releasing in March of 2022. Calendar enthusiasts will note that March is five months after October. Number two, the added development time is definitely a good thing. Great. Take all the time you need. I am absolutely 1000% okay with waiting five more months. Please, 2K, put in the work. Please, take the time you need to fix this broken game. 2K20 was enough to turn a generation away from wrestling forever. It was worse than Katie Vick. It was worse than a hundred finger pokes of doom. Where AEW feels fresh and welcoming, WWE feels cold, as we've said, and for lack of a better term, uncool. Shocking thing to say about wrestling in 2021, I know. However, an excellent flagship video game could probably go a long way towards hooking a younger audience in. We all remember playing, uh, you know, the various Nintendo 64 games as a kid, and they're still classics today. They still hook young people in. WWE needs to come correct with this video game, so I'm really glad that they're actually slowing down and taking their time. Now, delaying a game doesn't necessarily make it great 
We all saw what happened to Cyberpunk, but at the same time, rushing a game out isn't going to do anyone any favors. Number one, we might be able to assume some wrestlers have job security. Now, this is from the person who put out a list saying that Bronson Reed, Everrise, Mercedes Martinez, and Jake Atlas were all candidates for the WWE 2K22 roster. That was wrong. WWE fired Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt, two people who have been pretty essential to their company over the last five years. Point is, WWE don't care. They will fire anybody at any time for any reason. However, it does appear that WWE 2K have some of these wrestlers ready to go in their game. For that reason, and that reason alone, I choose to believe that those people are safe until at least WrestleMania. So hopefully this doesn't jinx anybody, but here is the full and complete list of people who appeared in this trailer and thus have job security in WWE. Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, Kofi Kingston, Goldberg, Dolph Ziggler, Kane, Shelton Benjamin, Roman Reigns, Shinsuke Nakamura, Rhea Ripley, The Miz, Finn Balor, Bailey, Carmella, Ricochet, and Rey Mysterio. Good look for Ricochet, Benjamin, and Ziggler, especially Ziggler and Benjamin. I, I didn't expect them to show up in this trailer at all. I think it's safe to say that for those 16-ish, I think, wrestlers, they can breathe easy until at least April 2022. Anyway, that's going to do it for us today at Operation Sports. But if you like this video, be sure to hit the people's elbow on that subscribe button. Hit the old bell as well. And keep it locked here for the best in sports and Vigia gaming. We got Prince, we got Brian, Unique, Mazik, and myself keeping us all up to date on the goings on. Madden, 2K, NHL, MLB The Show, the new boxing game, uh, Esports Boxing Club coming out. The seemingly dozens of wrestling games out there now or on the way. We are covering it all here on YouTube and, of course, at the mothership, the main page, operationsports.com. And if you like me you want to hear more of my wrestling takes, check out SNME Radio, Sunday Night's Main Event Radio. I host the NXT Talk podcast with my good pal Boris. NXT is... Well, that's kind of in the uh, toilet at the moment, to be honest, but hey, it makes for some fun podcasting. So we get to talk about the great matches and rag on the terrible nonsense. So type SNME Radio or BAM Sports Entertainment into any podcatcher you use. We will be there. Probably the most recent thing you will see is a review of TakeOver 36, which should be a good show on paper. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Stay safe out there. Congratulations once again. Dolph Ziggler and Shelton Benjamin.